Dave, as an offensive lineman, I, I, former offensive lineman, you're still very handsome and well <laughs> right, right. as a former <laughs> offensive lineman, talk about the difference in what Washington's going to be doing running the football with these zone blocking schemes, with the one cut of the back, and how maybe lesser offensive linemen could look better in that kind of scheme than trying to just blow guys off the ball. Right. I mean, basically, you know, the zone blocking, it, it, you, 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 you run a stretch play, for example, and you, you, you use the defense's movement against them is what you're basically doing. I mean, you're getting them to try to flow, and somebody, all you have to do is get somebody on the ground or, you know, watch somebody pass the, you know, a cutback lane, and the back, Larry Johnson, Cordis, whoever it is, one foot in the ground, get, get up the football field, no wasted motion there, and no wasted time. I mean, you don't have to dominate and decimate guys, you know, at the point of attack in the, in the zone blocking scheme. And uh, Shanahan's done it as well as any. And, and his offensive lineman, you don't have to be, you know, 6'5", 330 pounds to play for Mike Shanahan. You look at his offensive lines in, in Denver, they were smaller type offensive linemen that had some athleticism, some some ability to move laterally and uh, and sustain blocks, and that's all it takes to be able to run that zone. You know, there's like an inside and outside zone. You know, an inside read and outside read, and it, it's pretty simple. Whatever the defense does, you can basically use their movement against them. It it seems simple, but it, there are a lot of little nuances in the blocking schemes that a lot of people don't understand. People, and we did a study on it one year when I think I was in Buffalo that year, the whole off season. Uh, and you would see it and then, okay, why did this happen? Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Because people try and copy it, but they don't understand the little blocking schemes that they've had. And they drafted linemen to go with this blocking scheme. scheme right. Because a lot of teams, when you zone, you know, a three tech, they used to jump wall the three technique. And almost, and you got to be quick. Right. And, and I don't know. Hey, explain that, what that is now. Talk, people talk aren't going to know what that is. It's a guard who has a guy that's just on his outside shoulder. That's a three technique. And, and you're trying to run a lot to of the times, left outside of that. And you're trying to run outside of him. Right. And a lot of teams, when you, when you zone, you know, two guys are working together. And like Dave said, you play off of him. Well, what they did in Denver a lot of times is they wouldn't double him and zone to him, but you would actually jump around him and wall and get low and just stop him. You didn't have to, you know, right. stop him. You had to stop him because you were running outside. So You were creating a lane, creating a right. lane as quickly as you could. Right, exactly. And if the guy ran over the top of that right. wall, then you would see the back cut behind him. Right. You would see fullbacks in, their old, in, in the Denver system now when they ran the two-back system. He would start play side, and all of a sudden, because the linemen are doing one thing, they're going to spots and everything, he would come back and he would block the nose tackle and seal that guy off because what the nose tackle did, they wouldn't chase him. Right. You know, the lineman went to their spot. Right. And that was his responsibility. If the fullback saw color, he would come back. So there's a lot of little nuances in that blocking scheme that, that their old line coach uh, that Gibbs. Gibbs had. Gibbs. Yeah. Who's in Seattle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Um, you know, he taught it and taught it and taught it. and. Right. And they ran it, and Shanahan. So now Shanahan's got to teach it to his line coach. I don't even know who's in Washington right now, but he's got to teach it. And they've got to get the type of lineman that can run that scheme. And I don't think they have those guys yet. I tell you, uh, the center Tommy Nalen, like Turk was talking about, and you were talking about Chris. The three technique is the defensive tackle lines up on the outside shoulder of the guard. Two technique is head up. One technique is on the inside shoulder. Most centers can reach. You know, reach a full gap. They can reach to the one technique. Some can reach to the head up guy, the two technique. Tommy Nalen could reach a three technique. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's unbelievable athleticism, the quickness and lateral movement ability. When you have a center like that, I mean, now you can run some serious, uh, you know, zone stuff. You're talking about the center in Denver, in Denver. Yeah. not yeah. the yeah. center yeah. in Washington. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 In the yeah. old days, Casey Robb yeah. yeah. not getting the three technique. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 they drafted yeah. linemen to get done what they needed to get done, like a center like that or right. a, a guard, and they weren't big, just like you said. But they were quick. They played with leverage, and then they were stout. Right. And you know that running game. I mean, you could have been plugged in there. I could have been plugged in there, and we would have got at least 25 yards. Well, and that's what they did. And I mean, how many years in a row did they take basically an unknown right. guy yeah, and run for a Davis thousand yards? Six round draft picks, two thousand yards. And they had, they had. I think it was something like 
seven different running backs in like a decade's time had over a thousand yards. It yeah. didn't matter who the running back was. Oh, yeah. Landis Gary. Landis Gary. Gary. One would get hurt, um, and the guy step up. Um, he was, he was the, the, the military guy. That was, Anderson. Yeah, Anderson. Yeah, yeah, Anderson was yeah. was there. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a uh, and if, if Washington can do that, to me, that's their biggest issue. Can they take that offensive line that they have and turn it into something that is decent running the football? I mean, if, if they can get to that point, and of course, then Shanahan's going to do the classic, get you going this way, then you're going to bootleg out. And Donovan McNabb may not run like he used to, but I wouldn't want to try and tackle him one on one in the open field. I mean, that's going to be. You know, that's the Shanahan offense. So it, it, it's like, if you think, I always think of synchronized swimming when I think of those, those stretch and zone plays where all five of them kind of move together. They go this way. So the whole defense goes with them that way and tries to stay in their, in their gaps. And then all of a sudden, they're all five yards that way. And here's Donovan McNabb going to come around one-on-one -on, -one on some poor defensive end. It's tough if you've got a guy that can move around. And Jay Cutler, you know, in Denver, put up some big numbers off. The bootleg. Yeah, the naked bootleg. That, that was their course. number one play. Yeah, and um, it, it is. It's like it's like a chorus girl, Atlanta chorus girls, or June Taylor dancers, or whatever. Synchronized dance. You're right. I mean, the, when you watch end zone tape of the Denver Broncos and other places that Shanahan has had success, it's it's choreographed. They all step with the same foot. Their first step is all with the left foot, and it's like it's a quick step. They get that foot in the ground. You know, they make a crossover step, and it, it's synchronized. It looks like. It looks like everybody is on the exact same page physically. It's amazing to watch. Uh, the, the only thing that I, if you take nothing else out of this evening, just remember that Dave Laugham said that offensive linemen are like chorus girls. So that's, that's really all <laughs> you, you need. Dance, you dance, 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 all you need to remember. Dancing that's, bears. That's good. <laughs>